فان يورد ان يزل له يجعل سرده زيدا حرجا كانما يسقط في السماء كذلك يسال الباب الرجس على الذين لا يؤمنون This way Allah puts impurity for the non-believers. So non-believers are not happy. They might have everything in their life, but they are not happy. Happiness is something inside. Happiness is not, you know, inshallah if I have a chance once to talk about pleasures. Pleasure and happiness is inside. It's not much related to What is there outside? So to be happy, you don't need to have a luxurious house, luxurious car, a big amount of money. There are so many people who have the, all these things, but they are not happy. They, not have, they do everything to be happy, but they are not happy. But there might be people who have nothing, but they are happy. Imagine, If, if we, just, we just consider that the best pleasure in the world, for example, there is a food that if you eat it, will give you the maximum pleasure in the world. There is nothing more ple pleasing more than that, if just imagine. And you strike at the lot, you pay, paid a lot of money to get it and you already have it. You want to eat it, somebody calls, what's the matter? Your mother passed away. Your father passed away. Your son passed away. The food is there. You eat, it's like poison. No taste in it anymore. Why? Because something in your inside, in you, there is a mental problem with you right now. That, I am sorry for such a loss. I, I, I don't know, my father, my brother. My beloved one. So whatever pleasures, if you, whatever uh, of the bounties there, you don't get any pleasure out of it. And on the other hand, sometimes you may read a book, you may read a sentence, a verse of Quran, on some point, just to hear or to watch it, the, the feeling that you have, you see that it's such a pleasure, you cannot find it anywhere else. Sometimes even you, You're just sitting, just thinking of something, a good feeling comes to you. So, in reality, happiness and pleasure is a spiritual being. The material beings and material things might help to some extent. But even they cannot make you happy. There are some instruments that you may get happiness out of them. You may get pleasure out of them, but there is no pleasure directly in them. It is in your mind. There are people who die for watching, for example, soccer game. The very same thing might not be appealing for others. So that thing is not important. Your mentality is important. You, by your own mentality, you enjoy it. Somebody else does not enjoy it. And those who have Iman and faith, one of the things that happen to them is that they are always happy inside. They have learned to be happy under any circumstances. Nothing is, nothing is there in the world that can make them unhappy. Nothing, you know, Jannah and Paradise is of this nature that there is all happiness there. There is no sorrow in Bej, in Jannah. There is no sorrow in Paradise. There is no sadness in Paradise. You can make this world, this material world, like Paradise for yourself when you learn how to live. And Nafsul Mutmainna, the Quran talks about Allah the Dikrillah, Tatmainnul Gulu. For the remembrance of Allah, your hearts are in peace. The peace that comes to the heart is so strong that then nothing can make you shake, make you afraid, make you unhappy. Even in the heart of difficulties, you are happy. Even in the heart of the difficulties, life has the taste for you.
and it's beautiful. So they are in a kind of constant happiness. Hafiz has a very nice poem in Persian. He says, Man ki imruzan behisht nad hasil mi shabad, vahde ye fardaye zahed ra chara babar kone. Man ki imruzan behisht nad hasil mi shabad, vahde ye fardaye zahed ra chara babar kone. He said there are people, those uh, people who are not, doesn't have, do not have insight of religion, they just think that we have to push ourselves in this world to put out trouble. I like to, for example, eat that food. I like to be, I don't know, to have such a pleasure. I deprive myself to get the pleasure in Jannah. So they make this life like a prison for themselves. Then they say, Inshallah, after that, it will be in Jannah. What he has, I have such a vision that the gardens are in my side. Right now, I am in Jannah. And this is what Iman is going to do for you. We live by a uh, sort of uh, very superficial understanding of religion. We have not changed the taste, the mentality. So there are lots of believers, like non-believers, they have the same, for example, eager for what the others do from drinking, from other pleasures that you can bear in mind. The only difference is that he says, I like it, but I don't touch it because it is haram. Inshallah, in Jannah, I will get it. But the true believers are, are those who have, find, have found the true pleasures, the real pleasures. Then, nothing can take it away. And nothing can make them unhappy. Even the hardest difficulties in the life is full of pleasures for them. Like what you have here from Lady Zainab Sallallahu Alaihi when he was asked that, كَيْفَ رَعَيْتَ سُنَ اللَّهِ الْأَخِيكِ Ibn Ziyad said, how did you see what Allah did to your brother? She said, لَمَا رَعَيْتُ إِلَّا جَمِيلًا It was all beauty. We did a great thing. Such a sacrifice we did for our beloved one, it was great. What was there between us and Allah, it was great. But what you did from your side was even. So he, she has learned to even enjoy in such a difficult condition because she has progressed and developed inside. من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياة طيبة. We will revive them in a pleasant life. This pleasant life that comes after having these qualities that Quran talks about. You are revived as a new being, as a new person. You are a different person. You are not like the previous one. You look like that, but quite different person. And this happens to a believer by Iman. So uh, Allah says those do not have Iman in their hearts. There is always pressure and difficulty in their life. I have seen so many of these celebrities when they talk, they are, they are asked, do you have any worry you are rich? You have, I don't know, what other you need, plenty. You have money that you and your children, your grandchildren can benefit from. Do you have any uh, sorrow, any sadness? They say, I am worried about losing my beloved ones. You know, even when you have everything, that guy sometimes is worried that I will lose my beloved son, my beloved daughter. And this makes them in kind of pain, always 